see this quick and easy. Okay, so I have to legit do a wheelchair cooking show because people have been threatening lately, like Cool Beans for one, has threatened to pull my GIMP card unless I do a wheelchair cooking show because they saw me standing up last time and they said, no go, you have to do a wheelchair cooking show. So here I am coming to you from my open oven door. Ooh. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you a quick and easy meal for people who are disabled or a man. And some people think that that might be kind of the same thing. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. And maybe a bachelor that doesn't like to cook or just wants a quick and easy meal or anybody that does for that matter. And you want to do it even if you have an injury. Something quick, something easy. Here we go. Just without further ado, I'm talking too much. So this is what we got going on here. We have a can of beef ravioli in tomato and meat sauce. This is stuffed with beef. We have some uncooked, but not frozen because I unthawed them, some tater tots. This is just for my meal because my husband doesn't want anything to do with the tater tots and tomato sauce combo. He hates that. Now what this is in this plastic container is one pound of hamburger that I've cooked with one onion till they were soft and till the meat was brown. And I mixed it with some of this bacon salt and some garlic sea salt. And I also have a bag of Western Family Pizza Blend Cheese that's going to go into this collaboration too. So what I'm going to start off doing is I'm just going to take, and I can't preheat my oven obviously. <laughs> so this is going to cook in a 425 degree oven for about a half hour. No, 25 minutes because most of the stuff's cooked. 20-25 minutes. 425. I'll make a final decision here. 425 for 20 minutes. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to put some of this hamburger mixture on the bottom of my small cute petite casserole dish. Not too much though. But you want a good layer on the bottom of it and I think it's so cute and I didn't spray it even though you should usually spray it no matter what but I thought maybe some of the grease from the hamburger might be enough spray. Who knows? I might regret that decision. Who knows? And then I'm going to take some of this beautiful ravioli. I'm not sure how much of it I'm going to need. But you just want to cover the meat layer. Like this. I hope this is taping, by the way, because this is looking beautiful. Okay, and hopefully you guys can see this, what I'm doing. Then what we're going to do next. Should I put the cheese down first or should I put the tater tots? I think I'll put the cheese down first so it'll be melty goodness on the inside and then the tater tots can be crispy on the outside. It's an executive decision. Since I'm cooking it high at 425, that will be good because the potatoes will get crispy and the cheese will get melty. So what we're going to do is we're going to add some of this pizza blend to the top and just spread it over. Look at all that goodness. I just put extra cheese. I like extra cheese. And it looks so beautiful. This looks like so good. Here's a little tip for you. If you want something to look really impressive, cook it in a super small dish like this. Because it'll, you can't help but it'll just be cute. See what I'm saying? Yeah. That'd be cute if you do it that way. Okay. And we all gotta be cute. Whether we're male or female, we gotta be cute, right? Or dogs. Or cats. And then we're gonna take some of my uh, defrosted tater tots and we're kind of thinking along the lines here of um tater tot casserole but in an italian type of way with a ravioli genius right okay so i'm just going to finish doing that then we're going to cook this in the 425 degree preheated oven i'm going to preheat it first and then we're going to cook it for 20 minutes and then i'm going to come back and i'm going to show you the finished product see look i never left the wheelchair once Oh yeah, uh, this is something else I was going to do. I was going to take some little pats of butter and just kind of break it up and then maybe put just little pats of butter so that it can melt into brown, golden, delicious yumminess. So I'm just going to break up some of my butter and put that around. So it's going to hang around and make it all beautiful and golden and delicious. There we go. There's a finished product. I will cook that and then I will come back and I will show you how it all turned out. 
Talk to you guys soon. Bye. For now. Okay, I'm hoping. I'm hoping my camera will stay just as is. See, I'm even doing a gimpy taste test in my wheelchair from the back of the oven, which is hot because it's just got done cooking. I did let it cool a little bit for the taste test and all. I'm going to put some sriracha on top because I just think it'd be a pretty presentation and I love it a little bit spicy. So look at that beautifulness. I am going to take a taste and burn the heck out of my mouth. I think it's still bubbling underneath. Oh my gosh, it's that bubbly sh cheese that I put on there. This is going to be hot, but for you guys, yeah, see the yeah, that melty cheese. Yes, please. Okay, in my belly soon. Yes, but I'm going to have to blow it because it's so hot. Mmm, hot but delicious. My husband is not a fan of the tomato sauce and tater tot thing, but it's so good. I'm telling you. This is a really good dish. So whether you're in a wheelchair or on two feet or three feet or whatever it is that you find yourself in tonight, go in the kitchen and like create something like this. Cause it's like, it just goes to show you can do something really easy with few ingredients and make it look beautiful, unique, and just especially you. So go in there and do some wrestling and some pots and pans and get it done. All right. Thanks for joining me on this edition of Sue's Quick and Gimpy Wheelchair Edition. Yummy. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.